from Dixon City, Pennsylvania. A real happening place if you like to do nothing but shop because all that's in Dixon City is the mall and tons of stores and restaurants and a closed Kmart. It's a Sunday edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. Of course. I don't know why this camera shows at me so dark. Good God, you probably can't even really see me right now. Can ya? Probably not. But, anyway. I am here. You're there. The other camera's there. Look at that. Everything's fine in the world. But anyway. What I've got to rant to you about today. Stuff that's been in the news again. Yet again. About the about statues and icons and pictures and paintings and museums and plaques and history and all that other wonderful crap. All these people. All these people. I gotta get a better voice for this. I, I, I gotta do my... Uh, <laughs> I know what voice I should use for this. All these people. I, I don't understand these people. Well, we gotta rip down this flag and take down that statue and rewrite the history books and we shouldn't be teaching our kids about this and that. And it, I'm sorry, people, you know, that people... I, I, I can't see how, in this day of age, you could be offended by a Confederate flag or by a statue or, or by something like that because you're... you're, you're ancestors, ancestors, or whatever, or maybe you're not even, maybe you're actually from one of the islands and your ancestors were never involved in it, you know, where it's slavery and this thing and that thing. It's part of our American history. It might not be a proud part of our American history, but it is part of our American history. This stuff did happen. Slavery did happen. The Civil War did happen. Thomas Jefferson did have, you know, a black mistress. But, you know, things like that. It's part of American history. You can't deny. I mean, this thing that, you know, again, we have to become socially numb to these things. With that we, They want to rewrite the history books in a sense. It's like, like none of this ever happened. Basically. You know, we, you know teach that slavery happened, but yet, you know have absolutely nothing in existence in this country to show that it ever did happen. I don't understand that. I, I don't understand the thinking of this generation again. I, I I don't get it. Is it because maybe you just want less stuff for your kids to learn in school? Is, is, is that what it is? The only thing I can think of, it really is. I mean, they're taking down statues of people there. I mean, they, they even stuff about Thomas Jefferson that. Okay. Um, well, in that case, you know what? Let's do some more then. Hell. Hell, you want me on my on your side? Let's do some more then, okay? You know, how Thomas Jefferson had, you know, the whole black mystery at that side of the family and things like that. Well, hell. You know, we got to remove, you know, any reference to Thomas Jefferson for money and that. And better yet, Hell, our first president, George Washington, the man who helped fight for our independence, who helped fight and for the country that you're in right now, trying to rewrite history about, had slaves on his property. So I guess we should never teach our kids that he was the first president. Well, maybe we should just start a petition, you know, because this is things that you people would want, that this generation would want. You know, let's, let's take him off the dollar bill. We got we got to get him off money. Any president, anybody that had anything to do with slaves, that, that had slaves or anything, you know, plantation, things like that, get them off the money. Take them off money, too. You know, might as well destroy the, the Washington Monument. You better rewrite. You better rename it. Better rename it. Might as well do that, too. And, and you know, while you're at it, Go after the stuff from Jefferson and, well, hell, 
you know, you, you want the movement, the women's movement, everything now. Well, in that case, we better not teach our kids about Ben Franklin either. Hell, get rid of every reference of anything Ben Franklin ever did or created because historically, he's one of the biggest known womanizers in American history out of all of our founding fathers. Now, of course, they don't teach that in high school. You learn about that in college, actually, in regards to American history. But after all, you know, he put down women, women and stuff like that. Ooh, that big no-no. We better go back and rewrite history and get rid of him, too, while we're at it. Hell, there would be so much less for our kids to learn in school. Let's just rewrite all the history books and take out every reference. And while we're at it, war. That's right, gun violence, war. We better take out every single reference to us ever being involved in a war because there's guns, that's gun violence, it's promoting guns and vi- and violence, and, you know, it, it's probably backed by the NRA and everything, so we better get rid of that, too. We have to. And you know what? I mean, guns, we're all offended by guns. We better disarm our police, too. We better disarm them because that's a public display of guns and it's only going to show the children that, oh, look at guns. So we better get rid of them too. So unarm the police. Just give them billy clubs or something like that because, you know, it's going to offend this generation as well. See how ridiculous that all sounds? It really is. It's just absurd. But let's go a little further. You know, you want everything politically correct, no references to violence and guns and slavery, womenizing, anything like that. We we better make sure that there is no reference at all to any politician in history that turned down every time that, you know, Susan B. Anthony, all them, that they were trying to fight for women's rights to vote and that. Better get rid of that from the history book. We can have that they were fighting for women's rights, but... Any politician that was around during that time that would have voted against it, we better delete them from the history books. We got to, because, you know, someone might get upset about that. So let's take that out of the history books as well. And while we are taking that out of the history books, let's jump a little closer up. Let's get rid of Henry Ford. That's right. We got to get rid of Henry Ford. We got to get rid of Henry Ford for for two reasons. One is, you know, Henry Ford during, was it World War I or two? I can't remember now. But if you look this up, you'll discover that Henry Ford actually, if I remember correctly, supported Germany. And I believe financially supported as well. So, after all, that might offend you know, Jewish people and things like that, people involved in World War II, we better f- not teach our kids about Henry Ford. Get him out of the history books. And going along with all great things that, you know, this generation does as well, we better protest Ford. No, that's right. No, let's have a campaign, a movement, national movement. You don't buy Ford vehicles anymore, anything related to Ford. All because of that. We have to. We have to. And getting on the same page with this and rewriting history, you know, offending, after all, um, World War II and, you know, dropping the bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, um, that offends Japanese people. That might be offending the Japanese Americans. So we better rewrite history too. So we're politically correct. And we don't offend them either. We, we better rewrite references in regards to World War II. Because after all, dropping the bomb was wrong. That's right. Morally wrong. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have nuclear weapons now. So we better rewrite that whole portion of history as well. And, and take out references to it. Because we're going to be offending the Japanese American community. And you better take out the references to the uh, concentration camps that we had in like San Francisco and that the camps that we had in regards to um, getting together all the Japanese Americans out there you know and and separating them from their houses and their belongings and everything else we got to get rid of the we got to get rid of all that reference because that's very very bad and you might offend people and people might want to sue 
so let's get rid of that reference as well. I mean, by the time we go through history and get through, get rid of everything that might be offending people because of historical nature, but it might offend people that may have been may or may not have been affected generations ago by this. Because some, for some reason, your generations now are just feeling the after effects that you have such a terrible way of life now because of things that happened 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 years ago, 200 years ago. So we better rewrite it. And then when everything is said and done, everything in regards to American history will probably fit in a little composition book. Once we get rid of the stuff that's going to offend people. And after all, well, we better not teach anything about like, you know, space shuttle exploding and things like that because, you know, that's going to offend people too. I'm sure that will offend people. Because after all, you know, shuttle and explosion and we shouldn't be out there, you know, uh, God created the universe and everything else and, and, and science and everything just goes against all that you know it's about God and everything so you know we've already gotten rid of you know we're already trying to get rid of dinosaurs and everything else and we better ban movies like Jurassic Park and that as well because that's showing dinosaurs and dinosaurs didn't exist or only the garden of, of where Adam and Eve were that's the only thing that existed. So we better get rid of, even in science books, get rid of references to that as well, to dinosaurs and things like that as well, because that's going to offend the Roman Catholics. So again, like I said, by the time we're done nitpicking and getting rid of everything that might offend people and make people so happy, it might even be less than a composition book. But hell, then... Every child out there would be able to pass history because it would only be a couple pages of things that they'd ever have to learn. Sounds ridiculous, huh? Well, so is that whole freaking concept that's going on with this generation with shit. Getting rid of things like that. Unbelievable. Freaking morons. They really are. I want your comments on what you feel about that, okay? Comment below. Now, my friends, for now, is all I have to say about that.